Hi friends, happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. I hope that you've all had a wonderful weekend. I hope that you're feeling rested, that you're feeling ready to learn, that you're excited. All right, let's think, let's try to make sure that we're keeping ourselves positive. So what is one positive thing that you've done or said for someone else? I know one positive thing that I've said um, for to someone else is I texted my sister the other day just to let her know how proud I am of her. I know it's hard with having two young twins at home and still working full time and, you know, having a husband and everything. So I sent her a text just letting her know that I'm really proud of her, even though I'm sure things feel really hard. I want you to put in the comments something that's positive that you said or maybe that you've done for someone. So maybe you've helped out your parents with something at home. Maybe you've um, texted one of your friends like saying how much you miss them and how much you can't wait to see them. Go ahead and put it in the comments below. All right, let's take a moment to figure out our focus goal for the day. Last week, I was picking them out for you. This week, I want you to start picking some out for yourself. So go ahead and pause the video and pick one out for yourself. When you're done, go ahead and press play. Did you pick one out? All right, great. I want you to lock it in your brain, three, two, one. Lock it in your brain, three, two, one. All right, great. I want you to keep that in mind while you are learning today. Now let's do one more check in how you're feeling. I know that I said I hope that you're feeling really positive, but remember we talked about it last week. If you're feeling embarrassed or kind of upset or having a bad day, it's really hard sometimes to learn. So if you're feeling a little anxious or worried or not having the best day, maybe this is not the best time to watch the video and complete your exit ticket and that's no big deal. You can always come back and do it later in the day once you're feeling better. Get it? Got it? Good. So take a couple moments, check in with yourself, see how you're feeling, making sure that you're ready to learn. Give a sign thumbs up if you're ready. All right, let's go over our objectives. So we're going to continue to practice spelling our sight words. We have new ones this week. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be able to determine the meaning of our vocabulary words, which we have new ones again this week. And we're going to be identifying and distinguishing, that means telling the difference, between synonyms and antonyms. That's going to be our main lesson for the day. Let's get started. All right. Now, if you guys remember, I love playing sight word basketball, where we dribble the letters and we shoot the word. So let's get it sit up straight. Let's get ready. The word is tree. The word is Get ready, go, T-R-E-E, -E, tree. One more time, get ready, go, T-R-E-E, -E, tree. The word is never. The word is, get ready, go, N-E-V-E-R, never. One more time, get ready, go, N-E-V-E-R, never. The word is start. The word is, get ready, go, S-T-A-R-T, start. One more time, get ready, go. Nice, the word is earth. The word is Get ready, go, E-A-R-T-H, earth. One more time, get ready, go, E-A-R-T-H, earth. Let's do our last one. The word is light. The word is, get ready, go, L-I-G-H-T, light. One more time, get ready, go. All right, if you kept up with me and you were able to spell of your sight words, give yourselves a pat on the back. All right, let's go on to our vocabulary words we have four new ones we have drowsy which means to be sleepy show me what sleepy looks like yeah where you're having a hard time keeping your eyes open gas means to inhale suddenly with your mouth open so you might gasp whenever you've been running for a long time and you stop and you're like oh, that's a gas or when someone surprises you or shocks you you might gasp like oh, that's what gas means vanish to disappear like a magician making a bunny disappear in a hat or to mend that means to repair something so you might be mending a coat that you broke all right let's see if we can fill in the blanks with our vocabulary words all right let's read our sentences and see which word makes the most sense in our blank i blanked when i saw how well i did on my math test even though i didn't study much hmm well, if it's saying that they didn't study much, they must have been shocked that they did well. Hmm, what word describes what someone would do when they're shocked? It's gas, right? Remember we said gas is to open and or inhale quickly. It's like when you're shocked, you're out of breath, you're like, oh, I must have done so well. Let's plug it in and see if it makes sense. 
I gasped when I saw how well I did on my math test, even though I didn't study much. Does that make sense? Can you sign a thumbs up or sign a thumbs down? Yeah, I think it makes sense. Let's plug it in there for now. If we have any other blanks that don't sound right, we can go back and fix it, right? Let's go to the next one. The magician made the, the bunny blank from the hat. Hmm. What do you think the magician made him do? Did he make him mend from the hat? No, that means repair. That doesn't make sense. Did he make him drowsy from the hat? Hmm. I doubt he made him sleepy. Maybe he could, but I don't know if that makes the most sense in that blank. The magician made the bunny vanish from the hat. Hmm. I remember vanish means to disappear or go away. So it must be vanished. The, the, the magician made the bunny vanish from the hat. Hmm. Does that make sense? It does. So we're going to plug it in the blank. All right. Last night, Miss Melina didn't get much sleep. She was blank all day. Hmm. If someone doesn't get much sleep, they're probably pretty tired all day, right? What word do you think makes the most sense in the blank? What word describes someone being tired or exhausted or having a hard time keeping their eyes open? It's drowsy. Remember, drowsy means that you're having a hard time staying awake. And that makes sense because she didn't get much sleep. Hmm. I'm using context clues. Last night, Miss Melina didn't get much sleep. She was drowsy all day. Does that sound right? It does. Now, I know my last word I have is men. Should I just plug it in there without reading? Say, oh, no. We got to read it and make sure that it makes sense. Because what if we accidentally messed up on one of our sentences? It's important to go through every single one and read it all the way through. I went to a tailor to blank my broken button on my shirt. Hmm. Something is broken. They went to a tailor. A tailor is someone that fixes things. Hmm. What word means to fix or repair something in our word bank? Yeah, it's to mend. I went to a tailor to mend my broken button on my shirt. Hmm. Does that make sense? I think it does too. If you got all of them right, give yourselves an Oreo cheer. Get ready. Go. Ah, 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 ah. One, two, three, slant. Awesome job, friends. Now, let's get into our main objective. Our main objective is, echo after me, I will be able to identify and distinguish. Remember, distinguish means to tell the difference between, to tell the difference between. And distinguish between a synonym and an antonym. Now, give me a silent hands up if you already know what a synonym is and an antonym is without looking at the screen. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys do, but I noticed that some friends got tricked up on some of their um, on some of their exit tickets before we left school. So it's important for us to review it again. Now, we know that synonyms are words that have the same meaning. One easy way to remember that is we can use a little alliteration. Synonyms, they mean the same. Synonyms, they mean the, yeah, they're words that mean the same. They're words that mean the, great. And we know that antonyms are words that have opposite. So antonym means opposite. Antonym means, yeah, we know that antonym has three syllables. Opposite has three syllables. That's an easy way to remember that antonym means opposite. Synonym, they mean the same. So let's look at some examples. Fast and quick mean the same thing. They're synonyms of each other. Usually people use synonyms to improve their writing or improve their speech. It's sometimes, sometimes when you're creating sentences or writing sentences, you want to make sure that you're using the best vocabulary words you can. So if you have a sentence like, I am so happy, hmm, I could say happy or I could use a synonym of happy. I am so overjoyed. Which sentence sounds better? The first one or the second one? Yeah, the second one. You can use synonyms to improve your writing or to improve your speech. Now let's look at an example of antonyms. Antonyms, remember, they mean, yeah, they mean opposite. Words that are, are the opposite of each other. So first and last. First and last are opposite of each other. They don't mean the same. They are complete opposites. Let's review. Let's go over some together. So we just did this one already, fast and quick. Are those synonyms or antonyms? Well, they're synonyms because they mean the same. Front, back, synonym or antonym. Shout it out in three and two and one. Antonym. Yeah, they're the opposite. Front and back. Those are opposite. They don't mean the same. Loud, quiet. Synonym or antonym. Three, two, one. Antonym. Loud versus quiet. Those are antonyms. They mean the opposite thing of each other. 
If you got those right, say, oh, oh, yeah. All right, let's do a few more practice problems. All right. You are going to be identifying a synonym for the underlying word for these next two problems. All right, let's begin. I want you to read just these first two. So where you see you should and Dominic saw. Just read those two. Pause the video and answer on your own. Did you pause it and answer on your own? If you didn't, make sure you do. Let's go over it together and see if you're right. If you're feeling right, send yourself some love. All right. You should start your homework tonight. Hmm. What is a synonym for the underlying word? So, A, finish. Could that be it? Oh, no. No, start and finish don't mean the same thing. In fact, I think finish is the opposite. So if it's the opposite of start, it must be an antonym. All right. So we know that can't be right. We're looking for a synonym, not an antonym. So finish can't be right. You should begin your homework tonight. Do begin and start, are those two synonyms? Are those synonyms of each other? They are, I think so. They both mean the same thing. You should work on your homework tonight. Hmm. No, I don't think work on and start mean the same thing. I know that start and begin mean the same thing, so they must be synonyms of each other. Now, friends, notice that all of those options made sense in the blank. It's not just about what makes sense or what sounds right in the blank. It's about what makes sense in the blank. If we're saying that we're looking for a synonym, that means we need to find the word that means the same, not just what sounds right, because they all sounded right, right? We want to figure out what makes sense for the question that's being asked. Let's look at the next one. And uh, Dominic, <laughs> Dominic saw a huge elephant at the zoo last month. Hmm, is it is a synonym for a huge, enormous, tiny, or small? Let's try to get rid of some of our options already. I know that I'm looking for a synonym, and I know that a, I know that tiny is not a synonym. In fact, I know that that's an antonym because that's the opposite of huge. What's another antonym that we know we can get rid of? Small, right? Huge and small are antonyms of each other. They mean the opposite. So what is our last option that we have? Enormous. Huge and enormous both mean the same thing. They both mean big. All right, let's look at our next one. What is an antonym for the underlined word? Pause the video again. Answer the next two on your own, and we're going to go over it together. Did you pause it? If you didn't, make sure you pause it and go over it on your own. Let's review. The cold weather will return next week. Now I'm looking for an antonym. So does that mean I'm looking for a word that means the same thing as cold? Oh no, I'm looking for the opposite. I'm looking for the, because we know that antonym means opposite. Antonym means great. So on the count of three, I want you to shout out your answer. One, two, three. C, warm. We know that the opposite of cold is, yeah, we know the opposite of cold is warm. It's not chilly. Chilly is a synonym because it means the same thing as cold. It's not windy. That doesn't mean the same thing. And it doesn't mean the opposite either. It does make sense, but it doesn't mean it's not an antonym of the word cold. All right, let's look at our next one. Sometimes I can be very talkative. Hmm. On the count of three, answer what should be the antonym of talkative. Three, two, one. B, chatty. We know that chatty and talkative mean the same thing. We know it can't be quiet because that, oh, three, say something beside it. We're looking for an antonym and I accidentally clicked a synonym. All right, try again. Sometimes I can be very talkative on the count of three. Three, two, one. A, quiet. We know we know that we're looking for an antonym, so we're looking for the opposite. So the opposite of being talkative is being quiet. If we are looking for a synonym, we choose chatty, right? Or noisy, but we're looking for an antonym. Make sure, just like I did, that you're listening to yourself while you're answering and thinking these through because sometimes it can be really easy, even if you know that you're looking for an antonym, to accidentally pick a synonym or vice versa. So make sure you're really paying attention. Just like I did, sometimes friends can make mistakes, so it's always important that you're listening to yourself. All right, what is a synonym again? They are words that mean the, yep, they're words that mean the same. And what's an antonym? Yep, 
the words that mean the opposite. Now it's your turn to practice on your own. There is a guided practice for you to work on um, for synonyms versus antonyms. And then you are gonna take your exit ticket and do any kind of work for Lexia that is up on there for you. If you don't have Lexia or you don't have access to it, no big deal, you can just read for the next 30 minutes. All right, friends, see you later. Actually, one more thing, friends. We are making these videos an assignment. There's nothing that's going to be attached to it besides your guided practice and your exit ticket. All you have to do when you're done watching this video is hit open assignment and then mark as done, all right? All right, have a good day.